Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Dan's Eliminator Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and it is shit game time once again and I'm going to make this intro very quick because this is really an annoying, stupid, loud, hum title screen and it just goes through my ears. This is basically uh, a Revenge of the Mutant Camels rip-off of years ago. Um, it's very, 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 very shit. It's a paid request by YouTuber Ray C. Hello, mate. Thank you very much for your request. It came out in 1988. It's one disc. It was published by ReadySoft, and it was developed by Euroline, and it was programmed by Christian Seiler, Thomas Winkovich, and Thomas Lepasic, something like that. Um, and it sports a 20 fucking five pound price tag. Unbelievable unbelievable what the fuck games were going for 25 pound back in 1988 so the idea is you got to shoot down these bloody um massive things that you find in star wars films and you've got to go very slow otherwise you just don't stand a chance you shoot three down to begin with and i'm already dead nice one and again and, well, I've shot one, I'm done. Okay, is that it? No, okay, a couple more lives. Ooh. Oh, let's see. They can shoot bloody straight, can't they? I'll give them that. Oh. Well, I can't lives keep doing it go on go again i'm gonna quit this top screen as quickly as possible because that's unbearable and i've noticed as well when you die the music goes all fucky so it starts off okay like now but the moment you die it goes a bit all fucky as i said Ooh. God damn it! I have done this level. And I can tell you now. <laughs> There's uh, no difference between the second level uh, second level and the third first level. It's all the same. Come on, where are you? There you go. I'm gonna die again. One more to get done. No, 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 too quick. Oh, where's the third one? <laughs> and again, yes, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's terrible. We defeated the robots. Yes. But now prepare for the next invasion. Get ready for your next mission. And there's me thinking it's going to have a different background. But it's the same background. How about that? And I'm dead straight away. How can you charge £25 for this, you fucking asswipes? Really? How can you charge £25 for this? It's just the same fucking level all the time. It's, it's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Awful. £25 for this. <laughs> in 1988. How can you justify such a price tag for this shite? How can you? Please explain to me. Somebody in the comments explain to me this is a fair price for a 1988 million. £25. Yay! 
Didn't lose a life that time. That's fast, but it's awful. Come on. Let's go again. This is going to be a very short shit game time because it's just there's just no meat in this game. So do you have to do four this time or just three? So again, so is that it? Please tell me I haven't got to do this again. Three robots, same background. Oh, you wankers. Look at that. Are you telling me? You just... How, how many of you could keep, will keep playing this game? I've just done two levels, and it's exactly the same. Copy and paste. No different backgrounds, no different enemies, it's rinse and repeat, it's bullshit. This shouldn't even, this should be a PD game. A public domain game that came free on a, on crappy cheap magazines back in the day. You've lost all your ships. I can't play this anymore, it's just, there's nothing to it. There's nothing else to add. It's the same one level. Rinse and repeat. You do it once, you do it again, you do it again until you die. There's nothing, there's no different backgrounds, there's no extra enemies, there's no different challenges. It's just level one over and over and over again. It's just one level. And they're charging £25 for this. I've double checked it, it's true. £25. This is a fucking crappy little game. You could have probably programmed if you had any idea about Amiga coding at all back in the day very basic amiga coding you could have done this in your bedroom 20 fucking five pound you know that's just that's just bollocks i i can't believe it's cost that much and you know what when i'm that disgusted you deserve one of these That is absolutely well deserved. This isn't going to get a hundred shits, but the fu I, I, I'm going to get straight on with it. <laughs> that is going to get ninety-eight shits for, for the price tag, twenty-five pound for that in nineteen eighty-eight. There was full price games. I mean, actual meaty games, games with a lot more meat in it. That cost five quid less than that. How can you fuckers justify £25 on that? Imagine pi buying that. Or getting that as a Christmas or birthday present. 25 I spent 25 quid on you and I got you an Amiga game and you load this up. That is no more than a public domain game that you find in the back of an old magazine. You know, you join these little clubs and you, you take your little coded game in or, or you pay one ninety nine. You know, some of these magazines used to sell PD games for one ninety nine. That's all it is. That's a £1.99 fucking game. That is not 25 quid. That's absolutely disgusting. And I think all of you that are involved in this game should take a bow. You've made an addition of shit game time. And why, you're asking me, did not this not hit 100 shit? For one reason. The ship is very controllable. It's very responsive. If it was judder judder, you know, time delay of any kind, then it would have. But that's the only reason why it's not got the magical 100 shits. That was fucking close to it, though. 25 pound. I thought you were fucking with me, Ray. I went and double checked on the sites, and it's true. 25 pound for this. I got you. You know, you were getting games like Batman the Movie on the Amiga uh, for a quid or so less than that. To put that in perspective, Batman the movie on the Amiga, the game that had those fantastically fast uh, uh, racing sections levels that made Outrun look like, sh sh you know, just 
well, it was already a pile of shit, but made it even more shitty. That game, I think, was going for £24.99, and this is a penny more. You think about that. I've got to listen to your comments below. Please leave your comments about this game. I'm not joking to you. 1988, £25 for this. It's one level. That's all it is. I mean, it's a blatant rip-off of Revenge of the Mutant Caterpillars. Uh, Caterpillars. <laughs> Sorry, and Camels, I meant to say. It's, it's just... <laughs> it's laughable. Oh, my God. Why wasn't there laws or rules back then or judges to deal with these fuckers trying to rip off kids i hate them so bollocks to you and any of you can justify this or have a go at me for putting these middle fingers up to you up to these programmers then middle fingers up to you as well you've got no place to justify these fuckers for charging 25 pound that's really bad so it's not even it's not even public domain price i'm sorry but there you go so there you go that is <sighs> Ganymede, whatever it's called, I've just lost some words, on the Amiga 500, oh my god, please load it up and check it out yourselves, I'm not bullshitting you, well done Ray, <laughs> right, that was a short edition of shit game time, <laughs> I would have made it longer but there's nothing else to say about this game, there's no meat on the bone, it's, it's crap, <laughs> fucking hell, uh, right, if any of you would like to uh, request a shit game time, Please do so. Videos will pop up any second now. Top right and top left hand corner is the video you need to go to. Uh, next to that is three other random shit game time videos for you to enjoy. So please check them out. For the rest of you, thank you again for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. 20 fucking five pound. <laughs> Zeus out of shitsville. And shockingly so too. <laughs>